hi everyone so in this tutorial we're gonna see how to implement uh, the short codes on a page post what are the different types of layouts available uh, for us to show uh, the images which we have created in the gallery to our customers on our website in the last tutorial uh, we have seen uh, that how we are gonna add images to a gallery if somebody missed that tutorial they could visit wordpress.org search for gallery bank and look into the video section about how adding images to a gallery for a quick uh, help okay so uh, you could see that I have some uh, gallery already created here in my dashboard and I would like these galleries to be displayed uh, on my page post so that uh, the visitors could see them so first step I would need to do is I have to go on this shortcut section and I could see there are different layouts available but because this is the standard edition uh, available on wordpress.org there are two layouts which are enabled uh, for uh, the, the free users that is thumbnail layout and a masonry gallery layout the rest of the layouts and its customizations are pro version features and you would have to uh, upgrade uh, to the, the premium edition so that you could enjoy all the full features and its customizations so let's uh, start with a thumbnail layout and see how this thumbnail layout is is shown uh, on the front end whenever your visitor visits your website so first step click on short codes click on thumbnail layout and I'll be redirected to this particular page where I would have to first choose the gallery which uh, for which I would like to generate the short code so I could recently created a uh, gallery called this is my test gallery in the last tutorial so I'll, I'll choose that and as I selected my gallery I could see an instant short code appearing at the top of the page it is it would be also appearing at the bottom so that if users are in the mid screen or at the bottom they could uh, you do not need to go at the top to copy the short code and uh, they, they can copy it from the bottom from here as well and if you don't want to customize any changes anything you could just simply copy this short code by clicking on this icon or you could select uh, this short code and click on copy so either way you could copy the short code but uh, for advanced features I'll explain what are the different options available in thumbnail layout short code generator so if you would like to have your alignment uh, of your images on the left hand of your website choose left you could choose a center right and if you would like to show maximum let's say three images in a row or you would like to have three columns uh, for your gallery layout you could change the number here as per your needs one two three four five whatever you feel comfortable so light boxes uh, only Fubox free edition is available other light boxes are a part of premium edition so we'll do that and there are another feature if you would like to show the title uh, to your customers click on show if you would like to hide it click on hide but uh, we'll show it in any case and same goes for the gallery description same goes for the thumbnail title thumbnail description and rest of the features are part of the premium package so I'll just copy the short code go to my pages or add new page or my existing page whatever you know you have at your end put in gallery bank short code tutorial let's say I'll, I'll, I'll give a title like this and I'll click right click on uh, this editor put in paste and publish so just copy the short code put in where you would like to show your gallery and I could see the page that this displays my gallery is here so you would notice that 
However, I selected three column layout on the short code, but it only displayed it in two. The reason this theme doesn't have the width to display, uh, you know, three images in a, in, in, in a row because our plugin is completely responsive. It didn't find uh, the space there, so it, it restricted itself to two column layout. But if you have a wide theme, if you have, you know, an option to have a full width or three fourths of the screen, you could select, you can, you know, show it in three column, four column, five column, and that's, uh, you know, as for your needs. So you would see this is the gallery title which is displayed here, which we entered in the back end. This is the gallery description, and these are the image titles. Because I never entered any, any, any image description, so I I'm not able to find the description here. And if I click on this particular image, this would open in the foo box, slide box, where I could see, you know, the images with the, with the title and description, I could click on the arrow button to just, you know, swipe the images or I could click clo on the close button to completely go back. And you would notice that in this thumbnail layout, the images were cropped to a particular s uh, height and width in square in nature, right? So it's basically just a grid column layout, I would say. And if uh, I would like to, you know, now generate a short code uh, to display uh, into a mastery layout without cropping the images, I I'll I'll go back here uh, on uh, short codes to mastery layout, like here. Repeat the same process as we did in thumbnail layout. Choose the gallery. You could copy the short code like this go back to your page where you would like to include your short code like I, I I'll edit this gallery bank short code tutorial change this short code click on update and a page is automatically shown here but in a mastery layout see now you would see that the images are in their proportion so their aspect ratio is not compromised right and uh, the images are being displayed like this so again if you click on the image uh, the image would open in a pop-up and uh, this is a pop-up available from Fubox completely responsive easy to use and the images are beautifully shown here like this so this was a very quick tutorial about adding short quotes to your page post and uh, the same goes for uh, you know the gallery widget you could just copy the short code go to the widget section I'll, I'll just uh, in fact quickly show you how to do that let's say I'll go to appearance widgets I'll notice I have a uh, gallery bank widget here I would like to have it in my footer. I clicked here, add widget, paste my short code here, which I have just recently generated for masonry gallery layout. Click on save, and I'll visit the website. So you will see that if I scroll at the bottom of the page, this is a footer section, I could see the images being displayed there like this so yeah that's how you can have it implemented in the gallery widget as well thank you for watching this video have a nice day bye bye